bacon as a side dish. Okay, not just bacon on its own. Bacon with two other ingredients and some salt and pepper. That's all it takes to make bacornion. So what is bacornion? It's bacon, corn, and onion. That's it, with a little bit of salt and pepper added for taste at the end. These are the ingredients. We have 12 ounces of bacon. You can use any kind of bacon you want. We have two 12 ounce bags of frozen corn. If you want to use fresh corn, you can. If you want to take it off the cob, that's fine. This is really easy to use though, and we've used frozen corn, I think, almost every time we've made this. And then finally, one onion. So I'm gonna get started here by chopping up this onion. All I'm gonna do here is break down this onion, really rough chop, nothing fine, we're not dicing it up. Now, if you wanna make fun of my knife skills, go ahead. I don't have any knife skills. You can hear it now, you're laughing. But this is about the size we want if you can see that. Pretty rough, we don't need them small. He didn't lose a finger. So this is what we're looking for and now it's time to move on to the bacon. So first thing I'm gonna to do to break the bacon down, just cut it in half. And if you wanna use less bacon you can, but <laughs> who's gonna use less bacon, right? And we're just breaking it down into about half inch pieces. Okay, so my portion of bacon is done. I'll be moving on now to my wife's portion of, no, okay. I will share this amount of bacon. All right, we're gonna heat our pan up to medium, whatever you would use to normally cook your bacon. I will be cooking this bacon to somewhere between crisp and AFS, acceptable floppy state, because I won't be the only one eating this. So I have to compromise. Although I hate to compromise on floppy bacon. Just gonna let our bacon cook here. And you can see all the grease that it's being released, obviously. We're gonna leave a little bit of this grease in, but not all of it. We will remove some of this before we move on to step two after the bacon is mostly cooked. We'll let this keep cooking. Smells great. But when does bacon not smell great? All right, our bacon is just about where we want it right now. So it's time to add our onions. I've already drained a little bit of the grease off and we can add back if we need to, but it looks good. We're just gonna cook our onions down here. And if you still have some of those pieces stuck together, you can break them apart. They'll come apart as they cook. Remember, we're doing this on medium heat. You don't have to cook it too high. You can even turn it down if you need to. Oh, look at that. Some of that bacon's crispy. Oh, I'll try and save one floppy piece in there. Look at that. This guy, he's hanging on. He's trying to stay floppy right there. That guy. I'm gonna let this cook for a few minutes. And let those onions soften. All right, our onions are softening nicely. It is time to add our corn. Now this corn was frozen, thawed it out in the microwave a little bit. You can do the same thing or just leave it sitting out until it comes to room temperature on its own. Slowly sort of work the corn in there, get everything mixed up, fold it in. Sometimes we've used a fire roasted corn, which is really good in this. I'm gonna crank the heat up a little bit here. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper now. Pepper goes really good with this because pepper goes good with corn. You can add whatever you want. If you wanted to, you could add some barbecue sauce, anything, hot sauce. This is a great base to add your own flavors to. But you don't have to add anything, because come on, it's bacon, onions, and corn. The only thing you could really add to make this any better is more bacon. Such great colors in this too. All right, I'm gonna have a little taste here to see if we need to add anything more. Mainly I'm just tasting for salt and pepper. Mmm, oh that's good. But I'm gonna give some more pepper because pepper's great with this. And we are done. It's 
time to plate this up and have a taste. All right, here is our bacornion. I'm gonna put just a little bit of green onions on the top for some color. It's onion, so it's really not an additional ingredient. That's why you have some nice green there with the yellow and the red of the bacon. And there is our finished dish. Time to taste. Before I dive into this, one of the great things about this bacornion dish is its versatility. You can have this as a meal. It's got bacon in it. It's got a lot of bacon in it. You can have it as a traditional side dish, but what it really shines at is as a potluck dish. If you bring this to someone's house, I guarantee you they're gonna devour it and they're gonna ask you to make more. So here we go. I, I saved that one semi-floppy piece of bacon there. He's just kind of hanging out waiting for me. Everything else is crispy, I think. So here we go. Mm. It's no surprise how good it tastes. I've had this dozens of times. My wife makes this all the time. This is her recipe. Honey, I love you. Mm. And again, this is the basic recipe. You could doctor this any way you want. You could add more to it. Sauces, seasonings, more bacon. You could add pork belly in here. How about some rib meat? Anything you want. This is a terrific base to play with. Mm. This is comfort food at its finest, a great holiday dish, a great everyday side <laughs> holiday dish. It's a, it's a great holiday. I gotta leave this in. This is hilarious. This is gonna be a blooper. Okay. Take four. This is comfort food. This is a great holiday dish. It's a great everyday dish. And it is so simple to make. And I guarantee you, it's gonna please anyone that has it. Mm-hmm.